Okay, good morning everyone. It's Mrs. Odendal here. Um, I'm going to show you four techniques which you can use when shading an object. This is your first activity that you're going to do. So we're going to do the first circle using a hatching technique. So what a hatching technique is, is when you take your pencil and you go in one direction. You either go to the right side or to the left side. Or from the left to the right. So you, you choose which side you're going. So I'm going from the right side to the left side. So this would be a hatching technique or the hatching technique. So what you can do is you can decide that one side is going to be darker than the other side. So this side is light and this side is darker, you can see. Okay. And then it's just a straight line that you keep going in the right direction. So this is basically hatching. Then we're going to do cross hatching. So, this is when you cross lines that go from right to left, left to right. So you're making tiny crosses, but this is not doing this. That is not cross hatching. That is wrong. Okay, cross hatching is when you go from one side and then you cross it with the other side. So you turn your paper and then you cross it to the other side. Okay, so this is one technique you can use. You can either do that, or you can do this, so it's a bit more loose. Remember, this is art, so it's okay to be a little bit... You don't have to be that neat. <laughs> so, that's okay. But the crossing needs to happen, and it shouldn't look like this. It should look like a nice, nice cross that you're going to do. And remember that you have to keep the shape... Keep the shape in mind when you do your cross hatching so it still looks like something so mine's starting to look like a weird shape in my circle <laughs> okay the next one we're going to do is let's do scribbling okay so scribbling is like a little loose line that you just okay almost like that or you can have it more triangular or well, not triangular but more uh, geometric so this is a much more organic organic scribble where this is a much more hard line if you can see it makes sense i hope it makes sense so over here we have the the scribbling i'm just going to do that this is nice for doing tree bark or um a teddy bear for instance could be like this or someone's hair you could do that okay remember when you do your shapes please fill up the whole shape not just a part of it the whole shape okay Let's see. Okay, there we have it. Scribbling. And then the last one we're going to do is stippling. So stippling is literally, you're going to, I think you're going to make your parents crazy, but stippling is literally this. <clears throat> the whole time. <laughs> and then if you want it lighter, you use more space between the, the dots <clears throat> and if you want a darker you create more dots in one space so you see that's the darker part and then it goes light over there then there's one last one that we're going to do so this one is called um, blending so this means that you go from let's say you go from dark and you blend However you find easier, but you blend nicely, hey? It has to blend into each other. You shouldn't see any lines. You shouldn't see any gaps. It needs to go very smoothly from a dark, dark gray pencil to a very light, light part there. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you now a bit closer. Okay, you just blend it in nicely. So you can see, I haven't done it that neatly, sorry. <laughs> but, it's blended quite neatly, going over from the darkest pieces to the lighter ones. Okay. So